look like he can still play. I wish. I wish. I got old bones, though. I got old bones. Time to party. Time to party. All this is is the Cupid Shuffle. <laughs> you feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and tried to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy, and I. Alright, I'm here with Kendall at the Real Salt Lake game. He's gonna give me the vibe or the breakdown of what's gonna go on tonight. Is this, how many games is this for you, for us? Uh, th I've been to so many games. I've been a fan for quite a long time. Uh, this is my first year as a season ticket holder, and I'm so happy that I bought season tickets this season. What's the vibe with the team? There's a lot of electricity going on in the city with RSL. What's, what's the vibe? The vibe is, is, is growing. We're seeing some really exciting things happen. The last few years have been a little bit more dead. Um, but I'm just seeing some really cool, exciting things happen in the stadium. It's just the vibe is amazing and electric. So from the past, what is what are some of the comparisons from the old games to the new games now that the new management has implemented for you fans that is different? You know, honestly, I I'll be honest, like I feel it's we've been we're like it's more inclusive now. You know what I mean? They've they focus on the Hispanic community, which they should have done a long time, a long ago, time ago, and they've you know they've they've come back slowly coming back. Um, I mean, they, they do. I mean, their social media presence is amazing, and and that's helped out too. Um, I mean, in little things here and there, like how they communicate to us fans on via text messages on certain things. I mean, communication is key. Um, so that's all part of it too. But they've done. I mean, they've done a really good job, kind of just working on the inclusive environment. Oh, what are you making here? This is for the chicharron, uh, beans, uh, beans, uh, chorizo, and papa. I need to find a water source real, real close after this food. See, I like spicy food, so I should be all right. But if y'all see me start sweating, <laughs> y'all know it's hot. Oh yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Man, I was worried. <laughs> I thought my mouth was gonna start firing. As I'm here with Josh from the RSL show, Josh, you gotta give me the vibe of what's going on here and what's been so different with the RSL. Uh, the big thing is the new ownership, man. He's kind of brought everyone together. You know, you have all these different groups that have been separated for so long, and and now we're really trying to get everyone together in one spot. It's it's made a world of difference with the atmosphere. Beautiful, beautiful. Seven home sellout crowds. It's been amazing. As you can tell, the atmosphere is great. I love tailgating. As a player for right. football, I couldn't tailgate until I retired. So getting here, being able to be a part of the fandom is totally awesome. What are you getting from these fans? What are these fans saying about our team? Uh, it's just a lot of positivity, man. Everyone's really pumped on the team, pumped on the products, uh, bringing the energy. You're going to see when we get in there, you're going to feel the vibe in there. It's going to be electric, really. That's the best word to use. Um, you're going to see some, some high-flying soccer, I hope. Beautiful, beautiful. So at, at, at Rice Eccles Stadium, there's certain sections of there's certain sections of the stadium that's a lot louder than others. Yep. What section of the Rio Tinto Stadium is louder than the other? Uh, it's not necessarily a section, it's just a side. It's going to be the south goal, the, the far end zone, right? You're going to have Lobato Rio, you're going to have uh, SCU, the Riot Brigade. They're all going to work together to bring the noise tonight. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait to get in there. Thanks, Josh. Yep. Everybody go check out the RSL Show podcast on KSL Sports. Josh. Thank you. We got one more thing before you go in. Oh, you can't forget. Shut that. up! <laughs> you see that? Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> official. I'm official now, Josh. Thank you, man. Yes, Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's go watch some soccer, huh? What do you think, man? What? Is, that, is that dope? What the? Hell yeah! <laughs> is it dope? Yes.
Yeah. This side's got to trim down a little bit so it's not so tight. <laughs> It's like you walk right here. Let's go straight to the stadium. Told you I started sweating already. <laughs> I'm feeling great. This atmosphere is awesome. Got into the march and roll before we go into the stadium. Really looking forward to this game. South Enzo, man, we're gonna have to go down there a lot this game. They are electric. They're bringing all the energy. As you can see, all the fans are rallying around them. I love it. I can't wait for this game to start. All access through the back way. I don't have to sit in line. You know how much VIP I feel right now? Can't nobody say nothing to me. Unless you got one of these, <laughs> don't talk to it. Watch, nobody's gonna say nothing. Marching in to the stadium was very different for me. I, I haven't been able to do that one since college. <laughs> but uh, with the Ute Walk, but like that, I think that was just a whole different experience. Getting the fans involved, tailgating, it's a, that's a new vibe for me all the way around. Uh, you know, getting into the tailgating atmosphere, food, Phenomenal. Uh, just understanding how hyped these guys are to see a soccer match. Seeing all these young kids around here growing up in soccer and, and seeing these professionals in the MLS go at it. This is just something you relive when you were a kid and, and what it is now. So uh, I loved it seeing the atmosphere before the game. Now we're about to experience it during the game. It's going to be great. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like I'm doing my sideline job with the youths right now. All access, nobody's in, in front of me, no obstructions. I get to see everything. I could probably take a corner kick right now. Ooh, walking down the tunnel. I might as well start playing again. This is crazy. So when do football fans get offended when people call? 100%. Really? Go to Europe, 100%. Really? 100%. It's because there's only one football bro in the whole world. It's the most popular sport in the world. No question. Yeah. So why is the why is the NFL expanding over to Europe? I mean, there was NFL Europe, yeah. but like we're doing all this stuff now. Why is that if it's not accepted? It's the marketing dollar, son. It's all about the Benjamins. I hear you. know you. that. I hear you. You know that. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> you know that. I do. Do you need drinks? Uh, yeah, where would they be at, bro? I, I can get some water. Yeah, that'd be dope. Let's get some just because it's hot out there. Meet you. Yeah, so we're um, come and get my first experience. Yeah, oh, wow. here. Oh, yeah, man, I love oh. it. I, I mean, after playing, I didn't really get to explore other sports or do anything yeah. tailgating stuff. So, oh, doing it well, first welcome. time here. We're, we're happy to have you. Nice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Leo, yeah, what's up, buddy? Mm mm mm. Victory tonight. RSL. Let's do it. Let's do it. Number one. Number one. <laughs>
go. A lot of wind. There's a lot of wind. Uh, take a step forward. Take a step forward. Mm -hmm. All right, yep. Ready whenever you are. Three, two, go. All right, Sly here with Nick Romando, MSL legend, RSL legend. <laughs> my last. Gosh, I'm just soccer like, league. I, I'm yeah, just yeah. like, I'm just like, MLS. <laughs> Steven Sylvester here with Nick Romano, MLS legend, Real Salt Lake legend. Nick, you've been retired for a couple of years now. How's it been on the other side? It's been nice uh, uh, just to have some time with my family, do the, do the little things I wasn't able to do as a player, uh, take a step back and, and kind of be a fan now, you know. And uh, Obviously the first year, you still think you could be out there and playing with this team and uh, competing, but uh, it's good to be. Uh, be in the stand. Speaking of family, what has this organization, this city, brought for you, done for you? How are you feeling about staying around here and being around Salt Lake City? Yeah, you know, when I came here, I just wanted to start going west a little bit, hopefully end my career in California, but uh, I come to love Salt Lake City, Utah, the people, the surroundings. Uh, they embrace me, they embrace my family, the club, uh, literally put their arms around me and, and, and didn't let me leave. And, and even when I'm retired, uh, they treat me so well here. Um, the fans still adore me. Uh, they make me feel like I'm a part of the team, so it's, it's tough to leave. Man, that's awesome. We've heard some amazing things coming from this organization. Great changes, seven straight sellout crowds here. What are you feeling about the trajectory of this of this organization in the soccer club? Yeah, there's there's a, a lot to be proud of. You know, there was a good old days uh, back when we won the cup and, and kind of got lost through the years uh, with new ownership coming in. Pablo Mastroianni being the coach, bringing some energy to the team. Uh, like you said, seven sellout crowds. So there's a lot of energy in the city. There's a lot of energy in the stadium. Uh, um, and with the new ownership and the resources that they have, it, it's, uh, it's only going to get better. Nice, man. Thank you for taking time with us, man. I appreciate no it. Thanks. <laughs> so what's the new upcoming sport, right? And, like, everybody, like, involves everything. And this guy was just, like, soccer. It's definitely soccer. Soccer? It's all the kids play, man. It's all right. the And I'm just like, that's insane. So all you need is a ball, you know? Right? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you going to knight me? Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you man. go, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, hope you're having a good experience. Oh, man, this is perfect. This is perfect, man. Oh, it's, it's got padding in here, too? Go out on the football field with this. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, man, my wife's going to steal this. Yeah. Does she want one, too? She always does. She's like, you might as well double up. We'll get her one. Winning. Winning. It's the best first experience ever. Ever! Oh my gosh! Look at this! Do this! Right here! Oh, dude, that's thick! Right? It's thicker than down here! <laughs> Can you wrap it like that? Oh, perfect! Yeah, Don't you thank you. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate you yeah, yeah, yeah. so much. Oh, if you're enjoying the game, I am. I am. This is awesome. Gotta pull out this W. But uh, this is perfect. This All is right. perfect. Have a good one. Thanks, man. See you. <laughs> All right, wrapping up my first experience here at Rio Tinto Stadium, it was absolutely amazing. From the tailgate lot to the march, all the way to the south goal line, it's been nonstop amazing. To the swag, look at this awesome RSL Juneteenth swag. I am so, so excited, and the atmosphere is amazing. Family atmosphere, the people are amazing. The organization, from the employees and everybody working here, top notch. I am definitely coming back here for multiple, multiple games. This is awesome. RSL soccer is definitely trajecting up. I love it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you. This is great. This is great. This is great. Stay right here for now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh.